Prince Harry today helped to release a wide-ranging report on how to fight so-called fake news as part of his role as a commissioner on disinformation with a left-wing think tank in the U.S. The Duke of Sussex is one of 15 commissioners and three co-chairmen who have conducted a six-month study into the digital avalanche of misinformation on behalf of the Aspen Institute based in Washington, D.C. And the 37-year-old royal revealed today on his Archul website that the group has now outlined a list of 15 specific recommendations for leaders to consider adopting across the public, private and non-profit sectors. The report calls for increasing social media transparency and disclosure, a new proposal regarding social media platform immunity and ideas for need reversing the collapse of local journalism and the erosion of trusted media. Other solutions that were given in the report include pushing for community-led methods for improving civic dialogue and resisting imbalances of information power, and accountability for super-spreaders of online lies. The Duke's push to combat fake news may raise eyebrows in some quarters, given that he and his wife Meghan Markle were accused of making various questionable statements in their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March this year. They included the claim that the couple had secretly tied the knot in the presence of the Archbishop of Canterbury three days before their official wedding at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle in 2018. Their wedding certificates later proved that this was a false statement, as were claims about their son Archie being denied the title of prince and the reason behind why the family's 24-7 security was withdrawn. Viacom CBS, who made the Oprah interview, were then accused of editing UK newspaper headlines to make them back up disputed claims about racist press coverage. ITV, who aired the interview in the UK, changed their version because of the accuracy concerns. The new report comes after Harry last week attacked the media when he branded some journalists pirates with press cards and also revealed that he had warned Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey in an email that he was allowing a coup to be staged in the US just a day before the January 6 Capitol riots took place. Harry said today, for the better part of a year, we at the Aspen Commission have met regularly to debate, discuss, and draft solutions to the mis and disinformation crisis, which is a global humanitarian issue. I hope to see the substantive and practical recommendations of our commission taken up by the tech industry, the media industry, by policymakers, and leaders. This affects not some of us, but all of us. It is not clear if Harry is being paid or receiving expenses for his role with the organization. Harry's role as a philanthropic leader is part-time but is understood to have involved regular meetings. Author and BBC presenter Dr. Tessa Dunlop spoke with Richard Eden about the Crown on Palace Confidential. Dr. Dunlop said, you don't have to be a historian to know that a lot of the misinformation in the Crown is actually part of the entertainment. I think there is an issue for Harry because huge numbers of those who enjoy and watch the Crown seem to take it as is the truth. That's where he falls over. That's why he's got I think stop talking about misinformation because he would appear to have got his fingers in the till. Mr. Eden added, you know, it's become more and more raw as the series has got closer to the present day. So the series that they are filming, they will lead up to Diana's death they will be about the son's reaction. The host asked, are they also touching on the sensitive subject of Martin Bashir? Mr. Eden said, yes. Prince William has been very strong in Harry. In terms of Martin Bashir and the what went on to try and get this interview and now this is going to be served up as entertainment. The Crown has previously been criticized for blurring fact and fiction, and some have even called for the program to broadcast a disclaimer at the start to highlight it as a fictional drama. Prince Harry said about the show, it's fictional. But it's loosely based on the truth. Of course it's not strictly accurate, but it gave a rough idea of the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else.